What's up, guys? Dr. Gooden back with Newton's third, it's hard to do that with the pencil, third law of motion. Let's learn about biomechanics. Okay, Newton's third law says that to every action, there is always opposed and equal reaction. Or in other words, the mutual actions of two bodies on each other are always equal and directed to contrary parts. Okay, what the heck does that mean? Let's translate it. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, pause right there. I'm sure you've heard this before, and oftentimes this phrase for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. It's often used outside of the context of physics or biomechanics, and it's used somewhat incorrectly. Oftentimes people think that for every visible action, every movement that they see, there's an equal and opposite movement that should occur. But if that was the case, then when I jumped, uh, not only would I go up in the air, but also the Earth would physically move away from its orbit, out of its orbit. It would deviate like 30 inches as I'm jumping up. Um, actually, I can jump a little higher than 30 inches, but um, let's say um, any given day I just jump 30 inches and the earth would also shoot 30 inches downward from where I am, okay? But that's not the case. The earth is so massive that just because there is an opposite force that I'm producing, uh, it doesn't mean that the earth will actually move. So it doesn't mean there's equal and opposite movements, just equal and opposite reactions, okay? So when you put force into the ground, the earth puts a ground reaction force back into you, and that's why you jump. Now, uh, let's, let's look at that in more detail, okay? So, example. I'm gonna draw a little stick man here, and we've seen this example before in other videos, but just to reiterate, there's his eyeball, and here's another stick man who is in the bottom of his jump, about to turn around, so he's in that unweighting phase or the amortization phase, about to get into the propulsive phase and get into liftoff. Okay, and what are the forces that are acting on these two systems? Let's take a look. So on the dude on the left, we have the force of gravity. And equal to that force, because remember, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction there's also this normal force pushing up from the earth, okay? But what about the guy on the right, or actually this is the same guy, but temporally after the first. So what about when he's about to jump? What's happening as far as the forces go? Well, the force of gravity does not change, so it's still going straight down. But because this individual has allowed gravity to pull him towards the earth and to produce momentum, and then he starts his braking phase during the jump and then pushes with his legs, with his leg musculature, as we've seen in previous videos, he is able to produce a greater force into the ground than only what gravity would produce, okay? Because now he's pushing against the, the ground. And as he pushes against the ground, it creates a larger ground reaction force. Okay, so we might call this force the force of the reaction, we might even abbreviate it. Yeah, let's abbreviate it with just F sub R. So that's the reaction force. And because after he puts that force into the ground, that reaction force is now greater than the force of gravity, this guy is going to take off and launch himself into the air. Lift off. And so that's how Newton's third law comes into play anytime we want to manipulate our bodies in space. Um, Anytime we want to move or accelerate or decelerate or jump or even taking steps, we have to put force into the ground or sometimes into an opponent in order to do that. And through that manipulation of forces, then we can cause equal and opposite reaction forces. Now, Newton's third law is also in play in things like collisions or things like impacts, ballistic impacts, or striking, if you're striking a ball with a bat, that type of thing. And we'll, we'll look at those examples in detail in later videos. Oh, and oops, I forgot to 
change that to a three. Okay, so Newton's third law. There we go. All right, guys, thank you for watching that video. This has been Newton's third law of motion. If you have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you with an answer um, or some further reading that you can do. If you've been paying attention to this series of biomechanics, you know that all the videos that I've done so far are over here in this playlist. And if you wanna keep learning, head on over to this video where I'll be talking about Newton's law of gravitation. Thanks so much for watching. This is Dr. Gooden, making kinesiology understandable for you. See you in the next video.